Hi, it's me again. This time bringing you the biggest statistical anomaly or statistical impossibility of 2020 and 2021, the frying pan, and this time with some visualization so you might get a better idea of what's going on here. So uh, we'll start with the dates such as 6, 5 when the frying pan happened. Now I logged that into Facebook and I put the timestamp on it from Facebook. I still have that uh, Facebook page and of course I took a screenshot of it and it's in the frying pan video that I already posted on YouTube so you can go back to that to check that out but we'll start there and these are the months that follow including April of this year 2021 where things kind of wrap up as far as the visuals that we're trying to paint I was trying to contact an old co-worker on a Facebook page I made when this happened and the reason for doing that was to better my situation. I'm on disability. I was misdiagnosed. I got sick at work. And of course, things are not very good health-wise. Um, and as I was trying to communicate with them or trying to paint a picture, uh, trying to figure out how I can solve the situation, this happened. And I took a picture of it and I didn't want to take any more than that for my own personal reasons. That's all I took. And something very strange began to happen. So we'll forward to the UFC event, Woodley versus Covington, and that was on September 19th, where Jesse Jess, the fighter, won her fight. And what's weird about that is that I tweeted during the fight, and moments before she landed the technical knockout blow that won her fight, I had tweeted and continued to tweet during that fight, and moments later, about... 30 seconds into the fight later, she won by technical knockout. The other fighter could not continue. So, and there's a little bit more there, but I'll go into that detail a little bit later. But in the same month, the NHL Stanley Cup was playing where the Lightning beat the Stars on 9-28. <clears throat> so, here we see the Tampa Bay wins. Okay, and that was the Tampa Bay Lightning. So that begins to happen here, and that's when I started to notice something very strange. Now, in the following month, in October, the Lakers beat the Heat on October 11th, and the Lakers won. And then the, and that was the NBA, and then the MLB, the Major League Baseball, the World Series happened where the Dodgers beat the Devil Race. So the Dodgers won on 10, 27. And that's, of course, LA. Now, this is when things begin to really stand out for me. So I'll paint you a little image here of the frying pan, and we'll draw a little witch hat, and symbolizing the witch, which is an image in the frying pan that is unmistakable. And here are two horns and a bull, and one horn is complete and one is broken. And if we put the teams in here, which is when I noticed it, you'll see that the Lakers fit here, the Dodgers fit here, the Lightning fits there, and of course the losers were the Devil Rays from Tampa. So Tampa, LA, and there's your frying pan. But it doesn't stop there. Because we fast forward to February 2nd to the NFL, where the Tampa Bay Bucks defeated the Chiefs in the Super Bowl. And it also took place in Tampa Bay. Now you could say, hey, there's something a little funny because of course you would know that the Super Bowl would be in Tampa Bay. But remember, this happened 6-5, way before the season started, making it statistically impossible, or rather incredibly unlikely. If I had a football pool, I'd have won a way to help myself already. But I don't do that. Anyway... Um, it doesn't really stop there because there is more happening now, which is that the WWE in April is going to have WrestleMania, and that's going to happen on 411, 411. And you know what else happens in April? The Oscars. Usually these happen in February, but this year it's going to be in April. And you know what? These also are two entertainment industries for this is sports entertainment. And here's the funny thing about the UFC, which I think I mentioned earlier, which is that the UFC is a tournament, a championship. 
so is the WWE, a tournament, therefore marking sort of the sport's beginning and end of this part here. Now, you know what else happens in April? April Fools. <laughs> and I don't know if it's a joke on me or a prank, but who's the fool? The person pointing this out or the person distracted by this while a person is hurting. I could die. I've been very weak of health and uh, I've been taking care of myself, so hopefully I'll be okay. But whatsoever you do unto the least of my brothers, that you do unto me. So... I also know someone related to that date, but you know what? Let's not talk about that right now. Let's stick to these facts here because there's a little bit more to go. Now, why would this be a witch? Why would you relate that? Well, for starters, here's a bit of a star or a pentagram. Uh, usually it's upside down. The point is down on the pictures that you see on, uh, you know, all the books, etc. But we're not going to worry about that right now. But this star actually represents a little bit more than you think. Let's put the other winners of Tampa Bay because as you see here, Tampa might have lost here, but they won here. So we'll put the lightning here, combining them, and Bucks now giving us four winners, four championships. Now the city of Tampa Bay is kind of at the center here because the WWE completes the five points. See that? And of course, the UFC is related because these are both championship tournaments. While these are competitions where two teams go in and one comes out. The playoffs, the championships. And if we're going to put a hat on a witch, a witch hat on a witch, we get the Oscars. How does that happen? I don't know. But this is one of the reasons why if you're, if I sound nervous, you'll excuse me. And uh, yeah, and this is one of the reasons why in talking to that old co-worker that I was trying to get in touch with, um, it, why sometimes people have a hard time dealing with, well, me in particular, because I tend to point these things out or these things happen and it's been happening in the form of dreams which is something that people don't quite understand or don't know how to diagnose and well anyway the point is that you know I'm trying to better my life and things like this happen and it's hard to make something of this but definitely tell me that this doesn't sort of fit into a picture Tell me that this doesn't somehow align and that it's not a statistical impossibility or anomaly how these things or all these events fit into the picture that showed up way back in June of 2020. I've gone through a lot and it's been a very terrible experience that I've been going through and quite frankly I, I live for today and this is here today so I'm going with this and yeah, there's no way I could have known these things. Don't ask me what's going to happen. I'm not concerned with what's going to happen. I'm concerned with my health and how I can get my life going, how I can get some resources to help myself to be able to fund research, better medication, better treatments. But in a nutshell, this is what it is. If you want to watch the video of the frying pan, it's on my YouTube channel. Just Click on the link or scroll down for that video if you want to see a picture of the frying pan. Also, a screenshot of the Facebook post with the date and time where this happened. Plus, I've been talking about these things for a while, long before the Super Bowl. I actually made the frying pan video in November. Before this, and of course, yes, this would be in Tampa. And the Oscars got moved. I don't know if it was scheduled there or not, but well, there it is. Anyway, I hope you think about this and at the very least tell me that, well, it doesn't sound crazy. God bless you.